Come with me And you'll be In a world of pure imagination Take a look And you'll see Into your imagination What is up mga lods? Welcome ulit sa akin channel Ayun, so medyo delay yung tutorial natin ngayon Since itong week na to ay napaka busy At marami din ako ginagawa So, ayun, ngayon lang makapag-upload ulit At disclaimer lang muna tayo So, sa previous videos ko, mga Tagalog yung tutorial ko doon And may mga foreign na uh, viewer tayo So, hindi nila naintindihan kung ano sinasabi ko doon And nag-comment sila na English tutorial please So, ayun Uh, I decided na itong channel ko ay gagawin ko na lang na English yung medium para lahat ay makaintindi at makasunod sa ating mga gagawin tutorial. So yun lang mga lo and let's get started. For starters who does not know about the lower thirds, it basically denotes the title or the name and a bit of description of who and whatever the video is all about. And it is placed in the lower corner of the video. Now open your KineMaster app. And once you're in the workplace, go to media and background. You can choose any background for the meantime. And after that, you are now going to import your logo or any picture that you are going to use in your lower thirds. We are now going to create a rectangular shape. Go to layer and select handwriting and make sure it's in the square uh, shape and a white color. After that, create another rectangular shape and make sure it's in black shade this time. And also make it a bit shorter than the white one. Now click the logo and we're going to have its in animation and select a slide up and choose whatever speed of the animation you desire. So for me I am going to set at this point. For the next animation we are going to use the K framing. Uh, click this K icon on the left side and go to this time frame and start doing the keyframe. frame. 
Once done, we are now going to animate this two rectangular shape. Then add a text layer. Once we have its size, go to the text layer once again and go to in animation. And for this one, we're going to use the inter slide right. And you can play along with its speed. And now create a duplicate of this text layer that has already an animation. Once duplicated, you can set its color into black one since we're going to put it here in the white background. And now we're going to trim all of the layers so that we could have a uniform time frame. And for this part, 
we're going to add the out animation of each layer. And for the final part, since lower thirds are overlay, we are going to change this grey background into a green one for chroma key. Now here's how you can apply lower thirds in your videos. Now import the green screen lower thirds. And choose chroma key and enable it. Now green screen I remove and what's left here is the lower thirds which you can put in the lower corner of your footages. And that is all for this tutorial. Hope you learned something new and if you're not yet subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing and hit the notification bell icon so that you can be updated when I have newer uploads.